Welcome to this Max QDA video tutorial about data coding. Coding means assigning segments of data, for instance a piece of text or part of an image, to a category, which we call a code in Max QDA. Now, as you may have learned in our Getting Started video tutorial, there are several ways you can create new codes. One way is simply to add a new one to your code system. You can then assign these codes to individual pieces of your data, for example, via drag and drop. We then call these pieces of data coded segments. This works essentially the same way for texts, images, videos, and tables. And the other techniques we'll be talking about in this tutorial also work the same way for all data types. Once you've assigned the code to the segment, a coding stripe and the code name will appear next to it. To adjust a coded segment after you've coded it, all you need to do is mark the text segment again for instance to make it larger, and then either drag the highlighted segment onto the code again, or right-click on the coding stripe and choose Recode with Highlighted Segment. You'll see that the context menu also lets you assign weights to individual coded segments. You can use these weight scores afterwards as a filter during your analysis. If you want to take an open coding approach and let your data determine how many codes you need, let's say for example if you're following a grounded theory-based approach, you can do this much faster by using the same named Open Coding Mode. Once you've activated this mode, all you need to do is select a data segment to generate a new code. The In Vivo Coding Mode is very similar. Here, the coded text passage itself is used as the code name. As you can see here in the context menu, you can also use keyboard shortcuts for creating new codes, as well as for In Vivo Coding, and coding with the last code you used. And these shortcuts can really speed up the coding process. The Code Favorites option, which you can access via the Codes tab, works in a very similar way. This option opens a window to which you can add your most frequently used codes via drag and drop. To then assign these codes to your data, you no longer have to drag and drop them on a selected segment. You can simply click on the respective code name instead. If you want to assign several codes to a particular data segment at once, you can do that too. To do this, either simply select all the codes you want to assign in the code system and then assign them using drag and drop. Or you can activate them and then choose the corresponding option in the context menu. MaxQDA also lets you search for specific words or phrases in your text and then code them automatically. To do this, click on the Lexical Search option in the Analysis tab, then enter a search term, and let MaxQDA search for it in all your documents. You'll then get a full list of all the search results. You can now assign a new or existing code to all these search results. You also have the option of not only coding the search term itself, but the whole sentence in which it occurs, or the whole paragraph. Here, I've told MaxQDA to always code the whole sentence in which my search term appears. And, as usual, I can now activate the new code and the relevant documents, and the Retrieved Segments window then displays all the places, or in this case the sentences, where the code was found. Now, especially at the beginning of a research project, you might at first only want to highlight important sections of the text with different colours, without assigning actual codes to them, similar to a physical highlighter. For this, MaxQDA offers you the colour coding option. Once you've selected a segment of your data, you can choose among five different colours to highlight the segment with. In contrast to other code assignments, the colour codes are actually highlighted in the text too just as they would be if you'd marked the text with a physical highlighter. MaxQDA then creates a new code with the name of the color in the code system, which you can treat like any other code in MaxQDA. If you code a large number of passages in your text, for example, the sidebar can get quite cluttered pretty quickly. In this case, the context menu here lets you display only the codes of a particular color, or even just those assigned by a particular coder in your team. 
For text data, coded segments are not highlighted in their respective code color by default, unless you've specifically color-coded them. But this context menu also lets you display regular codes as highlighted in the text. And that's it! Now you know all the essentials about coding with MaxQDA. As always, good luck with your project.